Get ready for a 30 minute upper body workout targeting your arms, abs, chest, and back. So I'll be using two sets of dumbbells. For my medium set, I'll have 10 pound weights. And for my heavier set, I'll have two 15 pound dumbbells. Now, if you only have one set of weights at home, no worries, you'll still get a great workout in. So I'll also be using a bench, but you could also use a chair or a coffee table. Anything that's about knee height will do. Intervals will mostly be 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off for the workout. We're gonna get started with a warm up, so have your equipment handy and get ready to sculpt. All right, let's get started stepping those feet out wide. Shoulder roll back, then arm circle. Roll, circle, let's go. Lengthen through that upper body, reach through those fingertips. Neck tilt side to side. Good. Pressing those shoulders down. Reach those arms up. Single lap. Pull down. Reach. Down and reach. Good. Really resist. Arms to the side, then twist. Open, then close. Good, twisting through your torso into those obliques. Wrist circles right here. Reverse it, warming up those wrists. Reaching forward, palms in, then row it back, knee lift. Reach and lift. All right, let's work out grabbing your medium set of dumbbells. I've got my 10 pound weights, two shoulder press here, then rotate one arm, rotate back out. Good on your alternating sides with that rotation. Here we go. Press, exhale, inhale, bend. Rotate, rotate, good. Press, press, other arm rotates forward. Then side, good. Holding through that core. Soften through the knees a little bit. All right, take a bit of a break. Upright row, then lateral shoulder raise for the next movement there. Okay, elbows to the side. Good, then lift those arms supporting through your elbows. Good, keep those shoulders down. Make sure they're not coming with you on that upright row. Thank you. 
All right, palms facing diagonally out. We have bicep curls. Good, so you're taking it wide. Exhale as you curl, then inhale as you extend. Nice and controlled right there. All right. Good. Breathe through the burn right there. Keep going. All right. Palms up. You have a half curl. Then bring those forearms parallel to the floor for a rotate. Rotate. Half curl. Then wrists rotate. Rotate. Let's go. Good. Do your best to keep those wrists in alignment with your forearms. So keeping them from breaking. Strong wrists. Good. Still working on those biceps. All right, you're dropping one dumbbell, walking towards your bench. Dumbbell is in the right hand, left leg forward, left hand on that bench. We're doing tricep extensions with a rotation at the top. Let's go, so palm faces in, then rotate it to face up at the top of the motion. Good, elbow stays back that whole way through, the whole time. Switching sides, dumbbell comes into the left hand. Now your right leg is stepping forward and your right hand is on that bench there. Tricep extensions. Let's go. Rotate at the top. Exhale, inhale to bend. Good, keep pushing. Okay, drop that weight, turn around and we have tricep dips. So hands on the edge of your bench, step those feet, plant them flat, inhale, Exhale to extend. Here we go. Drop those hips, bend through the elbows and extend. Good. Go as slow as you need to here. You can also do this on the floor to modify instead. Let's go. Keep going. OK, 
carefully stand on up. Grab your heavier set if you have them and come onto your back. Working into the chest, we've got chest press. Bend to the side, then extend, rotate the palms to face in. Let's go, bend side, then rotate. Inhale, exhale. Good, squeeze to the center of that chest. Good, if you want a little challenge, we can do a little pulse. Then into that rotation, full rep. Pulse, full rep, up to you. All right, bringing those dumbbells together here. Bend them in towards you, then press up. Good, you're pressing those dumbbells together. Narrow press. Let's go. Good, nice and slow, super controlled. Good. Bring your hands slightly below your chest there. Good, feel that burn. All right, sit up, get rid of those weights, place them to the side and out of the way. You're finding a side plank position on the left elbow. Stagger those legs, reach up, then plant the hand on top of the other knee. Good, you can drop that knee if you need to there. All right, reach, knee crunch. Good, lengthen through the neck. Good, try and keep that flat line through the body there. All right, flip around to the other side. We've got the same thing, elbow down. You've got your reach down, knee crunch, drawing it towards that elbow. Staggered legs, okay. seconds, let's go. Okay, come on to your back. Let's work the core with some cross crunches here. Reach up for the diagonal corner, back down, reach up, back down. All right. Good. If you'd like a challenge, then we're gonna stay up in between instead of releasing our upper body down. So holding that crunch the whole way through to take it to that next level.
Go ahead and lift up even higher for that reach. All right, upper body down, arms by your side. Toes together and knees out wide. Create a diamond shape with those legs. Tap the toes down, then lift them up. Tap, then lift. We've got an optional hip lift there for reverse crunch. Let's go, tap it. Optional lift. Good, the further away you tap those legs from your body, the harder this move gets. Good, see if you can lift the toes to the sky if you're doing that hip lift. Nice and controlled, use the lower core. All right, extend those legs, full sit up, and then reach and twist. Lower all the way, then full sit up, reach and twist. All right, sit up, twist and open. Down. Good, control it. Scoop on the way down. Nice. Almost there. Stand on up, grabbing one medium dumbbell. I've got one 10 pound here. Dumbbell is in the right hand. Press and pulse. Press and pulse. Let's go, other arm is out to the side. Work the shoulders. Okay, you're switching sides. Same thing, you've got that full press, then little pulse. Full press, little pulse. Here we go. Good, keep it up. Okay, singing with that one dumbbell, extend it out in front of you. One, two, three, four, then chop it back up. You're holding it extended and you're doing four rotations. Let's go, alternating sides with that chop. Three, four, chop it. Good, control that chop. Focus on the core as you twist.
All right, grabbing two of your medium dumbbells, find your bench and have a seat. Planted through those feet, you're gonna lean forward with a flat back, reverse fly. So soften through those elbows, lift and support through the elbows as you bring those arms to the side. Let's go. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Good. Good, do your best to control this one versus swinging it to the side. Good, resist. Shoulders are back, drawing those shoulder blades together. Good, working the back of those shoulders. 10 seconds left. Stay here, dumbbells together, and we have tricep extensions. So bring them overhead, inhale, bend, exhale to extend. So those elbows should be about shoulder width there. Try and keep them in place, here we go. Fifteen seconds. Keep breathing. All right, stand on up. Keep it going with those triceps. You're leaning forward. Slight bend through the knees, elbows back. Two tricep extensions. You're holding them back. Bring the body upright. Lean back forward. Two extensions, elbows back. Long flat back. Bring it up. Push those arms back the whole time. Good. See if you can keep those arms behind you to keep that engagement. Good. Even when you come up. Push them back. Hold on to those triceps. Let's go, let's go. Okay, and we've got hammer curl, palms are facing in. Exhale to curl, inhale to extend. Good, keeping it simple for this one. Okay, we're at the biceps. All right, with palms facing up, you're gonna do a little pulse forward, then row it back, row those elbows back. Pulse forward, row it back. Option to add a leg. Knee lift, row it. Knee lift, row it. Good, optional knee lift there. Work the biceps, work the back. Woo, feeling that burn. Let's go, you can do it. Push. Let's go, 15 seconds. You've got this.
Okay, drop those dumbbells and grab one heavier dumbbell. Just one, come onto the floor, onto hands and knees. Dumbbell is in the right hand, rowing it back, then extend slightly forward here. Let's go. Row it, then extend slightly forward so you can extend that arm a little bit more. Good. Drawing that shoulder blade back and in. Good, working the back muscle, squeeze at the top of the movement. Switch sides, dumbbell comes into the left hand, same thing. Row it back, squeeze, and extend slightly forward. Here we go. Extend, row it back. Inhale to extend, exhale to row it back. Go. Keep it up. We're doing core after this. Okay, drop that dumbbell and you're coming onto your back. Flip it around. Eagle legs. Right leg crosses over the left. We have a crunch, come into a little ball, then tap it down. Good or modify with moving just the one leg. Good, and keeping those elbows wide. See if you can find length through the back of the neck, lifting up to the sky. and switching sides. Now your left leg is crossing over. You've got the same thing, crunch, lift, and lengthen, and then tap it down. All right. Good, see if you can tap out a little bit further, add that challenge. Come up part way, inner ankle taps. So tap, lean back, tap, lean back. Let's go. Inner ankle tap. You're leaning back every time. The more you lean back, the harder it is. Good, challenge yourself. Good, let's go, let's go. We have one movement left after this. And then your workout will be done. Moving into our cool down. Lean back more.
One movement left. Let's go into push-ups. Hands are wide, about mat width. Two push-ups. Then open up, hand behind the head, back down your alternating sides. Step those feet a little bit wider there. Inhale, exhale, press. You can do it. Let's go, you're almost there. Okay, work it complete, you did it. Let's cool down, find a child's pose, reaching those arms forward. Sink through the hips. Good, we're gonna find some movement here. So start to shift the weight forward, drop the hips, shoulders down, and flow it back. Flow forward, and flow back. Good, stretch it out through the front core. And sit on up, side bend, side to side. Plant the hands and tuck the toes. Slowly walk your way into a forward fold. Soften through the knees, start to nod the head, yes. And no. Good, relax that upper body down. Good, deep breaths. Down through the knees, start to roll on up one vertebrae at a time. Good, taking one arm across the body, use the other arm to pull it in towards you for this next stretch here. Good. And switching arms, pull it in towards your body. All right, finding a wall if you have one nearby. The back of the hand comes onto the wall and then you twist away. Here we go. So palm is facing out, stretching through the biceps and through the front of the shoulder and through the chest there. Good, make sure you're twisting away until you feel that stretch. Switch sides, back of the hand, onto the wall, twist away. Good, shake it out. Come to center, two final breaths together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Release. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Let it go. Amazing work today, everyone. You made it. <laughs> All right, if you felt the burn today, then hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see more 30-minute upper body workouts with warm-up and cool-down similar to this. See you in the next one.